Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Friday, June 26th at midnight, 2020 Mountain Time. There is the plume of that African dust, which is now engulfing the southeastern U.S. Hail piles up like snow on the streets of Castle Rock. Have you heard? Keep calm. It's boom time. And we're just getting started. This is what, well, summer hailstorm blankets Colorado and creates a hail river. Oh my God. Hold! Back to road. That's a big time hail. And that's not all. Custer State Park started with a fire this morning. With the aid of more than 100 firefighters and additional resources, the 60 acre fire is now 100% contained. Mother Nature may have also had a role in that. As Cumberland's Sydney Thorson shows us, the city of Custer was anything but dry this afternoon. Today at about 2.10 in the afternoon, several of us are hunkered down in Custer, South Dakota due to a rain, hail, and thunderstorm. Lisa and Eric Sanders were visiting from Illinois. They say this was not part of their vacation plan while in South Dakota. It's unpredictable. <laughs> we're dressed for summer and brought these just in case. No, it's not winter time here in Custer. This is a result of a major hailstorm that swept through the city. Miranda Boggs, owner of Miner's Cup Coffee and a lifelong resident of Custer, explains what happened. Well, it started with small hail, big hail, hard hail, 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 then just hard rain, then more hail, and then hard rain, and then just still raining. It's not raining as hard, but it's just still coming down. And it looks like it snowed. There's so <laughs> it looks like it snowed. Ho, ho, ho. Storm unloads hail barrage in the Quad Cities. This is hundreds of miles away. Holy macaroni. That is a lot of hail. Potential for severe weather Saturday as this hail system moving across the central craton heads to the northeast. Pittsburgh, New York, Albany. You're not out of the woods. Torrential downpours, damaging wind gusts, AccuWeather, local storm max, 65 mile per hour winds could boom you. Yes, you're boomed. You've been boomed. There's Diamond live on the video. Holy shinoli. Let's get that in there. All right, like swimwear. We're about to show you the Saharan dust storm system, but that is completely, we've been. Yes, we've been blocked. The link be between the Sahara dust and Thursday's severe weather in Baton Rouge. Well, the dust is here. And, well, what do they have to say? Because we've been listening to what everyone has to say. So They need to keep their AC off this weekend. Yeah, so in terms of the AC, it's probably more hazardous uh, to because of the heat to have your AC. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to listen to that. The dust reached the southeast. And let's see what weather.gov has to say. Severe thunderstorms in the northeast, fire weather out west. We know about that. We have over three fires in our region. Most of them have been contained, yet there hasn't been a drop of water in weeks. Severe thunderstorms with damaging winds are expected Saturday across the northeast. We just said that. Including New York City, Philly, Pittsburgh, and metro areas. So heads up there. Meanwhile, heavy rain and flooding is possible from the Ohio Valley to the mid-Mississippi Valley. Finally, elevated critical fire weather threats along with isolated dry storms are likely from the Great Basin to the Four Corners. That means lightning storms with no rain. It's insane. That's this bright pink region, lightning storms with no rain. And then this muted pink is all the thunderstorm warnings and watches. They do this specifically so you don't know what's going on because they changed the... Uh, yeah, they change the legend every single day. It's completely confusing. We are Weather Ready Nation ambassadors, and we apologize. Now, the hail is not isolated to North America. It's all over the northern tier at about 40 latitude. UK weather storm warnings for most of the country after massive hailstorms in northern England. 
This would be more like near 50 north, but Leeds and Sheffield were among these areas seeing massive hailstones on Friday evening. Look at that. This is a what this is is recycled hail. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, ten hail balls here glued together because they went back up into the system and got re-glued. Hail gets recycled up into an updraft and it keeps getting larger and larger and larger until it's so big that the updraft can't handle it and it all falls down right on your helmet, which is what I hope you have on. Now let's talk about helmets for our plants. Tips for protecting plants from hail. Well, you have to be there before the hail starts. Then you have to get the buckets on. These buckets should have some air holes in them, which this one does not, because you may suffocate your plants if the sun comes back out. So be diligent. If you're going to cover your plants in buckets or mini hoop houses or troms or whatever you want to call them, you need to have some airflow in there and just protect them from the crushing of the hail. Now, what would be the ultimate is in some greenhouses, they have these retractable screens that come out that divert the hail down and let it pile it away from the crops. You could also develop a system like that. But the spackle buckets for $250 at the store, 10 of them for $25 bucks could protect 10 food-bearing crops that could keep your family alive in the event of a major disaster. Seismic update. If you've been watching the Seismos for the last week, you and I both know the same thing. Yeah, the seismicity has hit the fan. We had major upticks in Central America, Western U.S., China, and along the entire Ring of Fire, huge uptick in Iceland, ongoing. We're going to do a special report on that in the coming days. But is this based on space weather? Not really. There's not much going on out there. Just some coronal holes and solar minimum, the deepest solar minimum in over 100 years. Here's the 24-hour summary. Solar activity is very low. An emergent flux area near North 1060 West intermittently contained a single small sunspot this period. However, the area remains unnumbered and the sunspot diminished as it faced Earth. No other active regions with spots are observed, meaning this is continuing to be the deepest solar minimum ever in modern history. No Earth-directed CMEs were observed either. And the long-term forecast shows nothing whatsoever happening with the sun. But that means cosmic rays are infiltrating the surface, and that means increased volcanic activity, which we predicted a week ago to happen this week, and it surely happened. Sabin Kai has been going off like bomb works. Let's take a look at uh, the last 48 hours. 27,000 puts foot sporadic puffs from Sabankaya. And let's just move it down and let's just focus on Sabankaya. Here, a 29,000 foot continuous ash emission just 12 hours ago. Quite significant. And on and on, a 25,000 foot continuous ash emission and so on. In the last 48 hours, we also have Popo, Semaru erupting continuously. Uh, Dukono, Ibiko. Reventador, and many others. And this is just all in the last 48 hours. Lopevi, volcano in Vanuatu. Seismic unrest continues. According to the Vanuatu Meteorological and Geohazards Department, they reported seismic unrest under the volcano, and it continues at a high level. So we should be looking for an imminent eruption from this cinder cone baby sitting out in the ocean there. Asama. Volcano in Honshu, Japan, increased seismic activity. So we have two new volcanoes with seismic swarms beneath them, as well as Iceland. And this is all in just the last few days. You know what else just came out? The Thule Greenland Neutron Monitor, Bartol Research Institute, University of Delaware, 27-day averages were updated through March 2020. And it is showing that we are living in the highest cosmic ray platform since late last year through the present. For the last five months, we have been irradiated with more cosmic radiation than ever before since the Dalton and the Maunder minimum. This is a telling event where the effects happen in the next few years. Trust me. Look at this plateau up here and compare it to the peaks in the past. Single peaks. Plateau back here in cycle 20 was 
exponentially less than this plateau here. And from 1973 to 76 were some of the biggest blizzards in North American history. I remember I was a kid. I remember walking out the snow up to my neck in Philadelphia in the suburbs. You know what's going to happen in the coming winters? We warned you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Now cut back on meat to avoid another pandemic. According to many sources, this is how multinational corporations that own the media get their tethers in there to control the narrative. They're saying that uh, plant-based foods made in chemical factories are better than actual meat grown from animals. Well, if you didn't know, many vegans that were my friends a decade ago have contacted me in the last 10 years and saying that they've changed their diet. They needed to incorporate red meats because they were dying. They were getting sick. N nothing in the vegan industry could keep them as healthy as an omnivorous diet. That's why I've always advocated to be an omnivore. Everything in moderation, extreme diversity, so you have the complete broad spectrum of micronutrients in your diet, wild harvest, wild edibles, homegrown food, Purely beyond organic, no spray, no till, EM1, micronutrient rich, dense food, plus supplements, on and on. It's, it's, it is a lifestyle that you need to grasp if you want to be healthy, wealthy, and wise in the coming times and provide food for all your sick neighbors and whoever else is in need. Abundance is the key, permaculture is the solution. We've always said that. If you don't know what that means, please listen to my words. Research permaculture as a way of life. Change the narrative. Opt out. Begin anew. doesn't matter where you are. It's a state of mind, not a state of place. You don't need 50 acres. You need a new mindset. If you live in a tiny room for $50 a week, you can find a bunch of spackle buckets in the trash Put soil in them. I'll send you a few seeds for free and you can grow food. You can start feeding your neighbors. You can start changing the idea in the population that they don't need to rely on stores. They don't need to rely on others. They do need to change their eating habits because people in these regions that are food deserts don't know how to eat vegetables. They don't know how to eat fruits. They don't know how to make a salad that's so delicious that someone who has never eaten a salad before is like, oh my God, what did you do? Well, I made a dressing out of my own herbs, medicinals, oils, vinegars, and I did it for you. Now, cutting back on meat is not what we need to do because this is a, a multinational corporation ploy to convince you. This all comes from Al Gore. He owns a 40% stake in Beyond Meat. So they couldn't get you to buy into the global warming narrative to make money on alternative energy, which is polluting the planet more than oil and gas. But they do want you to start eating their meat, which is produced in a lab. Now, how could that be safe for you? How could it be safe? The only safe food I know comes from nature, is washed by rain, and it's grown in soil that has no toxins. And that's hard to come by these days, which is why I implore you to get to know your farmer. Talk about a few more stories before we end up here tonight. Geochemists solve the mystery of Earth's vanishing crust. Now, if you think that this headline is a bit uh, salacious, you, you're correct. Because plate tectonics theory is a theory. We can only image below a certain depth in the earth. We can barely drill below the crust. So again, here's another article from non-scientists claiming that they are uh, have solved the problem of plate tectonics. If you read the article, there is no solution. There is only uh, an adjustment of the current theory, which is how science works. You readjust and you move forward. Did geochemists solve the mystery of Earth's vanishing crust? No. But they have a better model that can better serve humanity for doing more science. We have no idea what happens to crust when it goes beneath the mantle, except it disappears. It reforms at mid-ocean ridges as basalt, 
and sometimes erupts on continents as siliceous rich magma. But basaltic magmas have erupted mid craton for, for thousands of years. So we, are, we know about less than 1% of what's actually happening according to geology. If anyone tells you anything different, they're lying to you, period. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Do your own homework. Don't believe me. All links will be below. We will never mandate you wear a mask, change your name, change your diet to watch this program. You have free will. Do what you will. If you want to continue to be sicker and learn less, then disregard the information. If you want to continue to survive and thrive in the coming future, learn how to grow food, wild harvest, and make your own medicine. There are solutions to the problem of corporate control of your life. And they involve you first by getting involved, second by getting well. The, re the way you get well is not through exercise and diet. Dieting is for suckers. Your diet is important. That means what you put into your mouth. It doesn't matter how much you put into your mouth, but what you put in there that makes you fit into swimwear. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love each and every one of you. The amount of nutrition in your body is directly related to the amount of problems in your life. I can't state it more clearly. Did you pick it up? I just bought it.